Caspa is my most bullish crypto for 2025. Guys, my name is Crypto Kai, and today we're going to talk about why Caspa is my most bullish crypto and why, if you don't have any Caspa right now, you probably should pick at least a little bit of it up while it's still sitting in that 10 cent to 11 cent price range. I do believe that Caspa is a very, very safe 10x, if not more. And I'm going to explain why in this video. So Caspa is my most bullish crypto and it solves a lot of problems. This is probably one of the main reasons why I like Caspa so much. It has amazing technology. It has amazing tokenomics. It has an amazing team with people um, that have worked on the Ethereum white paper, people that have been in the industry for a long time. Uh, the t technology is great. The tokenomics are great. It has a halving cycle just like Bitcoin. It also um, has a very low supply uh, that are, is currently uh, locked right now. So that means that uh, you know there's not going to be a lot of dumps in the future for Caspa. Uh, and most importantly, and not a lot of people talk about this actually, it's not on tier 1 exchanges yet. Okay, that is probably one of the biggest reasons why you should pick up Caspa right now before it gets on a tier one exchange. Um, it's not on Coinbase, it's not on Binance, it's not on Kraken, it's not on Crypto.com. The only U.S. exchange that has listed Caspa is a pretty small exchange called Uphold. And uh, if you don't have any Caspa, I recommend picking it up on Uphold um, right now because um, that's currently the only place you can actually pick up Caspa in the United States. Now, when Caspa does eventually get listed by this tier one exchange, you're almost guaranteed like a two to three X in price once that listing happens, or even a little bit before that listing happens because of the hype leading up to the listing. So um, getting in before rumors of that listing is probably the best thing you can, you can do uh, to ensure that you get in at a low price. So we're gonna take a look at um, obviously, just the, the Caspa homepage, you know the technology. There's tons of YouTubers out there that talk about how good the technology of Caspa is. I'm not going to go to it into it in this video, but it's uh, it's a fully scalable layer one, the world's first block DAG. Okay, very very high um, speeds of transaction. It's uh, built on proof of work. Okay, and it's led by industry pioneers like the founder who um, has worked on the Ethereum white paper before, and. It's just overall an amazing project that has amazing technology, one of the best technologies in the game today. Okay, I'm not going to go into the exact features of Caspa. I'll go into it in, in another video, but um, just know that that technology is very good. Uh, so taking a look at the technical analysis for this coin, we see that it's uh, currently on a slight downtrend, actually. But uh, just today, we actually got a breakout to about 11 cents. Uh, 11.4 cents, which means that um, that's actually a very, very positive move. Uh, and that's one of the biggest uptrends we've gotten in the past couple of weeks. Uh, and so it's kind of broken out of this pattern because um, the past couple of weeks we've seen, we've seen this pattern go down like that. And then we were expecting it to maybe touch this point and then bounce. But we actually bounced a little bit earlier. So we bounced right here today. Um, and most likely, we're probably going to oscillate here. Look for a breakout of uh, of this point right here. Um, let me move my mouse. Yeah, so look for a breakout around the, I'd say around the uh, 12.5 cent range around there. If we break out uh, around 12.5 cents, then I think we will actually see uh, potentially a move to the new all-time high. Um, but more than likely, we're going to probably stay in this range, uh, maybe touch this uh, this channel once again, uh, maybe one or two times more. And then I think eventually around the time of the Bitcoin halving, we are going to see a massive move up. But you should definitely keep your eyes out for Caspa at the moment. It is honestly a very great time to pick it up. Uh, at 11.4 cents, if you don't have any Caspa, I recommend getting a sizable portion right now because you do not want to get caught holding um, holding on to for your entry when it hits 14 cents, 15 cents, when it hits all-time highs. You do not want to get caught buying at those highs. Um, I think in entering around anywhere from right now, anywhere under 12 cents, honestly, is a good entry in my opinion. Now, 
Will we see Casba dip even more? Of course, there's always that possibility. Um, I think the furthest it's possibly going to dip is in this this range right here. So uh, it's going to be in that around eight cent range, nine cents to eight cents. Maybe we could hit. Uh, we could see it hit seven cents, hit this area of support right here. But I don't see that happening. I think more than likely, or uh, if it's going to dip. A lot if Bitcoin you know goes down to 35k again then we're gonna see this uh, this range from eight cents to nine cents so um, if it does dip down to eight cents or nine cents I would absolutely load the bag uh, I would buy a lot I'm uh, my average is sitting at yeah around that eight cent range but if it does dip back down to that range I'm going to completely load the boat um, I'm gonna completely uh, go bankrupt and just buy as much cash as I possibly can um, but I honestly don't even see it going to that low. Uh, I think it's going to stay in this Tencent range, and then eventually we're going to get a massive move up once that tier one listing does get uh, does happen. So, uh, jumping back into the swing of things, why am I so bullish on Caspa? Okay, uh, if I had zero Caspa right now, I think ten cents, eleven cents, even twelve cents is an amazing entry. Get a position while you can, you know. Uh, these prices do not last forever. That's one thing I've learned in my couple of years in cryptocurrency. Okay, if you w really want a coin, and it's right now we're so far away from the actual bull market. If you really want a coin, do not wait. Okay, get a position as soon as possible. If Bitcoin drops, look to DCA in that seven cents to nine cent range. Okay, and my Casper price prediction for 2025. This is what you watch the video for most likely. These are my, my predictions, okay? So if Casper is an absolute flop, if the bull run sucks this year, okay, which I, I do not, I highly doubt it. Um, I do see Casper still hitting that 25 to 50 cent range, okay? That is still a three to five X from these prices. The most likely prediction, in my opinion, is it hitting a dollar to 250, okay? Uh, that would put it at around that 20 billion to maybe 30 to 40 billion market cap, which I think is completely doable. Okay, that is uh, Casper is one of the best projects right now. It's the top 40 projects, even without any tier one listings. If you go down the top 100 projects in cryptocurrency, um, Casper is the only one without a tier one listing. Every single pro other project has at least one tier one listing, which is insane. Once it gets that those tier one listings, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, this is why I'm so bullish on Caspa. Now, dollar uh, twenty five to two fifty. That's what more than a ten x. That's a ten x to twenty x. I think that is most likely in this cycle. Uh, we're definitely going to hit these numbers, I believe. Okay, and then if we do get a super cycle, a blow off top, Bitcoin goes absolutely crazy. Bitcoin hits two hundred k, then I do see it getting uh, hitting that four twenty right there. Uh, four twenty would be the all time uh, high market cap of. Uh, Cardano. So if Casper performs, uh, mimics Cardano's performance last bull cycle, then we will see about $4.20. And $10, it's probably not going to happen, but you never know in cryptocurrency, anything can happen. So those are my, uh, my price predictions. So um, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, stay for more content. I'm, I'm going to be putting out a lot more content in these next few weeks. So uh, if you like the video, stay tuned. All right, peace, guys.